Okay, just a last quick walk around because I put some of the uh, body panels back on and uh, obviously this big space above the motor is where battery is going and this uh, the panel behind the seat and this kind of this space behind the seat I'm going to find or build a box in there and try to stash most of the uh, control and wiring elements in there. So I also have lots of room in this fender that used to house a fuel tank. So, so this is what it's looking like with the body back together. It, uh, it rapidly becomes a much smaller tractor once you put um, the seat and the operator's position. And then you put the operator in and it's actually really small and uh, suddenly it doesn't look quite as easy as I was thinking to fit all the rest of the stuff in. But driven it around a little bit more and uh, the other thing that I recharged the battery so it's spinning a little bit faster. And the other thing that I have is the hydraulic lift. Hydraulics are working. That's one function. The other one is uh, the balance. The second leg of the uh, second leg of the it's like the left to right balance of the three point hitch. So that anyway, the hydraulic pump is working like it should, which isn't astonishing because and then the rear implement lift is. Got this. Sorry. Anyway, everything works like it should. You can drive it around, or with the, you just use the clutch, kind of like driving was built with a gas engine. But uh, in general, I'm happy with noise and or relatively low noise, and relatively uh, the whole drive line looks pretty straight and seems to run pretty smoothly. So, I must be halfway done at this point.